Hello and welcome to a review of uh, Planet Zoo by Frontier Developments, both published and developed uh, by them. And uh, Planet Zoo is basically a continuation from a Planet Coaster. So instead of uh, running a theme park, we're running a zoo instead this time, as the name says. Surprise, surprise. And uh, Planet Zoo is a very, very, well, I would say sandboxy uh, kind of a, a park builder. It lets you. Uh, Pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, it's very free form uh, in in building and everything you do. Uh, but it does offer a few different ways to play the game. Uh, there is a uh, carrier mode, which is basically kind of the just like a story tutorial for the game, which I actually have not done myself. I just went directly for uh, all the other options. Uh, uh, but it, it does teach you like basics of the game and kind of explains uh, how to do things. Uh, so if you're uh, if you're new to this kind of game, especially if you haven't played like Planet Coaster before, which I I did uh, play. A bunch so i was kind of familiar with the controls and everything so then a carrier might be a good choice for you and then um, if you're not doing the carrier there's a few other options you can do um the main ones uh is the challenges so you can go and play some challenges uh there's a bunch of scenarios uh that challenge you in different ways uh, to fix uh, fix zoos and uh, improve zoos and so on um, and then the other option where you basically go for the really sandbox experience i mean it's, it's, it's sandbox of course um uh, where uh, you don't have uh, money and you don't have uh, conservation points, which are used to buy animals normally. Uh, actually, they are used to buy animals in in the sandbox as well. But uh, I mean, you can just just buy them, basically. And uh, then there's a franchise mode, uh, which uh, has an online component. So when you're buying animals uh, with the conservation points or money, uh, you buy them from other players. Uh, and one of the reasons why I did not uh, review this until now is because, uh, well, it had bugs, uh, and it was kind of frustrating to play. I, I did play several hundred hours, uh, or a couple hundred hours or something, even with those bugs, and it was really fun, but it was really frustrating, and uh, I basically rage quit the game uh, around last December, uh, actually a little earlier, and then I, I just waited uh, almost like four months, so uh, for it to actually fix the bugs, uh, because uh, my, I spent 150 hours or something on a zoo, and it basically became unplayable. But they have fixed all of that issues, so that's in the past, uh, and they have a couple of DLCs also, like the South America pack, and uh, the um, Arctic region pack, which are really cool and have some new animals and uh, lots of parts to build with uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, I've been playing the franchise mode myself mostly, so that's a... Uh, uh, Basically, uh, same as a, like a sandbox, but uh, you actually have to worry about money and conservation points and you need to earn them and so on. Also, the franchise mode has uh, weekly challenges, so community challenges. There doesn't seem to be any active right now, but there is community challenges, basically. Uh, which gives you uh, basically avatar items. So you have you see these uh, little guys all over the planet here. These are uh, my friends uh, on my Steam uh, uh, account and uh, who own the game. And you can edit your uh, avatar, basically, here. Uh, and uh, the community challenges give you like hats and so on. Uh, so I've been actually doing a bunch of them uh, to get some uh, some funky customization gear for my uh, avatar. But so that, that is a small like fun thing to do. They also give you uh, animals and uh, conservation points and stuff like that. So that are that are kind of fun fun thing to do. But yeah, let's uh, just jump into one of my zoos. Uh, we'll do actually don't go there. Let's go to the franchise here. And uh, uh, you get basically login reward reward as well. So here's my conservation points I'll claim that and we're gonna go for the dust zoo which is the last one I've been playing uh, and depending where you plop your zoo uh, actually affects like the climate uh, and this is supposed to be in Germany uh, it's not exactly German weather <clears throat> but it affects like the some of the settings uh, depending where you put your zoo um, not that much but it's it's a small thing uh, mostly the biome is, is the big thing um, that uh, changes uh, how things look a little bit, uh, or or actually quite a lot as well. Um, and then uh, how much like uh, snow you get during the winter, and if you get even snow, some some maps uh, don't uh, you don't get uh, snow at all, and rain seems to also alter uh, how much rain you get. Like this this map is this map is pretty rainy, uh, and so on. It, it seems to be right now winter, and so actually kind of hard to see what's going on. So this is uh, my, my zoo that I've been playing uh, about, uh, uh, I don't know, about 40, 50 hours on this zoo. And um, it's kind of hard to see. Hopefully the snow ends quickly. But you can see, like, this is the this is the entrance. So as you start the map, it's uh, basically 
a square map uh, <laughs> around there. Uh, and uh, you start with this entrance basically to your zoo. And then it's basically a blank canvas with a couple trees here and there. And all, all the things you see through the snowstorm <laughs> uh, here, uh, this is all built by me uh, one by one, like one item at the time. Uh, uh, from small parts, uh, like you can just uh, see this is a total 182 object uh, and uh, we'll, We can actually look at like editing it um, so we can actually see that all of these are separate parts that I've been clipping into here uh, And making this building. Uh, it's just a uh, one of the things I've been building here But yeah, as this is a zoo, zoo game uh, building uh, enclosures like this uh, for example uh, is one of uh, The new ones so this is uh, from South America Packer. So I have some uh, uh, cute animals here. This is actually one of the best parts about the game. The animations and the graphics and everything for the uh, animals are top-notch. Like, they are really, really, really good. Um, I love how they look. Uh, but here's one of my jaguars uh, in their in their happy cave. It's actually heated, uh, so during winter uh, they're uh, a little better. Some of my animals are a little unhappy. They don't like the uh, current snow issue. But it uh, looks like uh, the snow is going away, so you can see a little better. But yeah, you build like enclosures. You can see there's a perimeter wall here that goes around, uh, and then some weaving uh, for the people. And uh, you need to also satisfy animals' needs, uh, uh, which you can see like there's a need for the different terrain, uh, how much grass and whatnot uh, they want in their enclosure, and then uh, environment, what kind of uh, ideal plants they like, like continents, and then uh, what biomes. And then you can just plop down this freely, and uh, it's it's really really like super free form. Uh, uh, how you build things in this game. Uh, um, you don't need... I mean, you can make the ugliest suit you want, uh, and it still functions pretty well. Uh, but it's all about like creativity and having fun uh, and building things. Uh, like, we built the elephant house. Uh, I think this was the last three maybe did uh, on this. Uh, and there's uh, this viewing platform here up uh, watching the elephants uh, in their enclosure. So usually when I build these things, my enclosures are fairly simple. Uh, just the, the requirements for the animals, but I spend much more time on uh, like building a or a uh, humplicious snacks here because uh, we have a camel enclosure right there um, and stuff like this. Uh, I spend much more uh, detailing buildings uh, and stuff like that uh, around the zoo. Here's one of my Cypress cafes. Uh, uh, and uh, there seems to be some protests as well. And we build uh, other things like this, uh, this kind of a uh, crumble house, which is a kind of slithery creatures uh, place. So in here uh, we have a uh, all these exhibitions. So there's a couple of different ways to uh, have animals. Exhibitions are these, uh, basically this small box that you build, uh, and then you put some animals there, which, which seems to be dead at the moment. Let's see if we can find uh, anyone uh, else. There's some spiders in this one. Uh, but anyways, you build basically build these boxes that are exhibitions. Uh, they can be viewed uh, from uh, other uh, directions as well. So basically, I've only opened uh, this view, but you can uh, have paths around basically all sides and view them from all sides. And then it, they have uh, different options depending on the animals, which they uh, what they like, and you can see some, some of these lizards here just lounging on the rocks. Uh, um, as you can see, some of these look very different from others, except these look very similar. Uh, for example, if you compare the, the lizard one to one of these uh, more tropical, like a rainforest kind of things uh, for animals. Uh, uh, but yeah. Um, you also need to worry about uh, your staff, of course. So running a zoo, you need staff, uh, like uh, you need uh, workers for the... Uh, food uh, stalls, uh, you need uh, animal handlers, like this guy here is uh, currently cleaning uh, the, the zoo. Uh, and uh, you need uh, buildings for them, so uh, there's a whole system uh, for like a uh, staff. Uh, here's my office section, and I, I put uh, all my stuff basically here, hiding uh, away from the people, as uh, there's uh, all kinds of uh, uh, mechanics that uh, kind of encourage you to put them away, and also uh, Kind of have to also. There's a negative impact for the guests, for example, which uh, comes from like having a trash. So this is all about the management of the game. Uh, buildings cause uh, negative thoughts, uh, power generation, uh, uh, and so on. And you kind of want to tuck them away from areas where uh, your guests can go. Uh, this is actually a protest here, it seems. Uh, so it's also a negative impact. Uh, you have other things, uh, security and crime, uh, guest education, and all kinds of things that you need to worry about. Power, water, uh, uh, all of that management. But it's actually very simple. And very easy in this game like some people some people say it's way too easy because they want a little more challenge from running the zoo but uh, i think uh that's kind of wrong 
I mean, I, uh, of course, I understand why people want that. I also want a very like more more like a hardcore simulation and a hardcore management uh, kind of zoo game. But I think Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster uh, aren't really meant to be that. They're they're all about like the freedom of creativity and making as nice zoo as you possible with a little of that management on the side uh, that to worry about. And uh, you have all of these. Uh, you get barriers for the. Uh, uh, enclosures, sir. Uh, you get habitats, which is all the habitat stuff you want to put in there. There's uh, food and water for animals, pets and shelters, and all, all of these. Let's pull this up a little, up a little and all enrichment items, sir. Uh. Then there's nature, uh, so plants, rocks, and so on, which I've been using pretty heavily, like this uh, rooftop garden here. And you can see I have a lot of trees and uh, little water features and lots of rocks and everything. Uh, just uh, one by the, all of these rocks uh, as well, like one by one, crafted in here. And so on. Um, I'm not the best at this game. Like some people make amazing, amazing things in this game, and it's it's fun to see the creativity that people put in there. Then you have facilities, as I said. Uh, these are mostly uh, stuff facilities, but there's also like toilets and ATMs and food stalls and so on. Power, uh, security, tables, benches, uh, uh, trash cans, so on. All of that stand there. And then there's the construction part, which is the really meat of the game. Uh, so you get uh, all these architecture parts and so on, like there's walls, you can just uh, basically do whatever you want. You're gonna sink them in the ground, you can put them into into the other wall. It's basically 100% free. You can even put them in the middle of the path and uh, do this, and your guests uh, will just walk through them. They don't actually... Some of this physics, uh, uh, there's no like physics uh, to this, they, they just uh, are there. Um, and it's just uh, up to you to make it there. Uh, either really horrible, or uh, look it nice, or something, whatever you want to do, basically. Uh, the paths uh, uh, that uh, the guests follow is the only thing that really limits the mo their movement. As long as there's a path, they will walk through it, even if there is a, a wall built into it. Uh, and uh, clipping uh, through things uh, is something kind of you kind of have to suspend uh, your belief and uh, just uh, just let it go. Uh, like uh, these uh, fences don't open. Uh, but uh, there are kind of nice looking uh, like fence uh, preventing guests from going to your power generation and so on. Totally unnecessary, but just uh, something I like the, the look of uh, uh, personally. You can also blueprint things. So this game does have a very good um, uh, mod support. Not mod, sorry, not mod support. It doesn't have that at all. Um, but there's a uh, Steam Workshop uh, support. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. So. Uh, you can make your own blueprints, as I said. So I have um, some of my own blueprints here. For example, this uh, sorry, we are expanding sign that I made. Uh, um, it's two areas where uh, we haven't really finished yet the zoo, like here, uh, there's a sign. And there's some other uh, old ones. Uh, I also plopped a couple of my things in the workshop, like this uh, tapir takeaway cafe. And you can just co copy paste these basically around wherever I rotate them, uh, sink them in the ground as the other things. Uh, and uh, it's very, very customizable. Uh, there's a couple of um, prefabs, so basically already that come with the game, like there's this uh, sculpture thing, uh, and uh, all kinds of cafes. Uh, there's uh, also teams, uh, uh, so for example, in South Africa, there's Asia, and so on. Uh, so there's like t already for those teams build uh, many different kinds of uh, buildings. Uh. If you're not the most creative, you can still use these uh, prefabs and then uh, alter them yourself. And also, as I said, there's also the Steam Workshop option, but I, I haven't actually gotten anything from there because I like to build my own stuff uh, and then alter that instead of using someone else. But uh, like, I know a lot of people like to use, uh, and some people who make amazing, amazing items, uh, uh, why not use their fancy creations in your zoo if you if you want to do so? But it's, it's, a, it's all about that freedom of building and everything. Um, also on the management side of the game, there is a research. There's a research for animals, which affects uh, what kind of a... Uh, Items they have available for them, uh, how uh, breeding, research, and so on, uh, uh, which help uh, to run the zoo. And also, uh, there is a mechanic research, and this is this is about teams. So you have the India team, New York team, Africa team, uh, transport rides, and so on. So you don't start with everything unlocked uh, as you run a zoo, uh, but uh, you have to basically research them uh, as you go. Uh, when they release the game, uh, you have to do this one by one in the, every franchise zoo. But they uh, updated that um, at some point uh, in those four months when I, when I wasn't playing the game, and uh, now it shares the research between the zoos, which is really nice, because all, you already share uh, stuff like uh, conservation points and other things uh, between your zoos. So why not also the research and everything? And while I'm also talking about the uh, conservation points, so this is the animal market. 
and uh, as I say that you use uh, uh, your points uh, to buy animals um, or money. So there is an option for uh, uh, cash listings and conservation listings. Uh, some of these animals are uh, from uh, Frontier Zoo, which is basically the AI. Well, the developers are selling animals for you, uh, so you can. There is always some animals available, um, but also the other players are buying these same animals as you are, so they might go quickly. So you want to uh, grab them uh, faster if you uh, if you need something specific. And then there's the conservation points. Ten thousand is the maximum price, and you can see that Miranda here is selling uh, some um, uh, albino. Uh, giraffes and there are some albino gorillas and all kinds of uh, animals here many many pages and this used to be kind of badly working when the game launched uh, it's still a little slow uh, but it works at least now uh, but it's a really cool feature I, I prefer buying those myself uh, uh, during um, these community events is there actually not a one running there is actually prime time currently so breed uh, 60,000 gold rated primates so this is a uh, the community goal it's been fully completed i have not done anything because i haven't played it in a while but as, uh, as you see there's a uh, unlocks here you can see that you unlock uh, and and how's your community standing and uh, this is really cool and you can also game the game in during some of those when there's like uh have animals on in your park and breed them and so on uh, uh, you can kind of game the animal market by selling uh, your animals uh, to people there was a gorilla event where i made a, a stupid amount of uh, <laughs> conservation points by selling a gorillas uh, for two people and, and breeding them myself. Uh, uh, I seem to have used uh, most of the points uh, at this point uh, between the zoos. Uh. In addition to the animal trading, there's also exhibit trading. So the small boxes with the snakes and uh, smaller animals basically uh, that you put in into these uh, cubes uh, uh, is in here. Uh, this is all in cash though, so you don't use conservation points here. Uh, actually, you do. Sorry, but yeah, this is a uh, this is the listing for these. Uh, 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 and uh, they're a little different. Uh, also, you can't really sell your own uh, in the same way as the bigger animals. But they're, they're really cool to have a little creepy crawlies as well, like this. Uh. But yeah, uh, I highly recommend Planet Zoo if you are looking for a uh, like a very freeform, uh, sandboxy, creative uh, game. It's super fun. It's super chill. Uh, it's fairly easy. So if you're looking for hardcore management, uh, it's it's not there. Uh, but uh, for a for a uh, creative game, it's such a such a fun thing to do. And it's it's so much fun. Like uh, I love uh, in building games when you build a thing and then you just look uh, things going around. Like you build a nice. Uh, uh, let's say capuchin monkey enclosure and then you just look at the monkeys going around and live their life in there or, or your visit visitors are running around your zoo doing their things uh, like this is the this is the fun <laughs> for me in these games but anyways uh plan zoo is a fantastic game uh has a couple dlcs also already out uh, and probably will be having a lot of more dlcs with um uh themed animals like uh, we have uh, arctic which added like reindeer uh, and, and an arctic wolf and uh, some sheep and stuff like that we had a uh, um, the South America, which are the, are the jaguars, uh, llamas, and so on, and I expect there to be a lot more in the future as well uh, on those. And they're decently priced there. And uh, of course, it's also a pick and choose uh, if you want to get those. Uh, in addition to animals, they also always uh, add a. You can see in the content pack here, so there's a base game, Arctic pack, and so on. And they add a, add a like a, just a ton and ton. Of, like this is just the parts from Arctic pack that add, got added to the game here. So you're gonna. Use those uh, to build uh, new fancy things, <laughs> basically. And uh, you don't, I mean, if you don't need the, what, like the look of artist stuff, you just look at the DLC. But, anyways, uh, highly recommend it. Check it out. And uh, thank you for watching this uh, review of the Plan Zoo uh, by Frontier Developer uh, Developments. And uh, if you like this review, check out the other reviews, Let's Plays, and everything on the YouTube channel. And I also stream on Twitch every day. Uh, so, uh, check out the channel there at twitch.tv slash and uh, I'll see you guys next time. So, bye-bye.